Happy Friday, everyone, and happy game day. It's time for the Sweet 16 of the NCAA Women's Basketball Tournament. Yes, after tonight, the field will be down to 12. After tomorrow, the Elite Eight will be set. And by the end of the day on Monday, April 1st, no April Fools here, but the field for the final four will be decided, which blows my mind. I feel like we literally just had the selection show, but these things move pretty quickly. So back to the present as I talk to you from our Sioux Falls studios. The sixth seeded Jackrabbits of South Dakota State are out west in Portland, Oregon, where they'll be taking on second seeded Oregon, the Ducks. Yes, these are two teams that met earlier in the regular season. Yes, that is a huge advantage to have already seen a team. And yes, it was a great game. Oregon ended up edging SDSU 87 to 79. And now it's time for round two. So let's take a closer look at tonight's matchup. I'll keep it short, kind of sweet and to the point. Five points actually of things I am looking for in the game. Number one, defense. But with that, I'll say if you like offense, watch this game but if you like defense also watch this game because both squads have a tough defensive challenge ahead of them SDSU and Oregon are both top 10 in the nation in scoring offense the Ducks score about 86 per game SDSU puts up 80 and they do it efficiently both teams are top seven nationally in field goal percentage so if your defense gives up a good look there's a good chance it's going in. A huge focus and intensity on the defensive end is going to be key for both teams. But in the chance that either of these teams does miss a shot, that brings me to my second point. Rebounding. The Ducks and the Jacks are two physical rebounding teams that actually sit next to each other in the national rankings for rebounding margin. Oregon is 19th at 7.9. SDSU is 20th at 7.8. So with how efficient both teams are on offense, holding them to one shot on possessions is vital. Oregon definitely has some size on South Dakota State, but the battle of the boards ended up being fairly close last time. 41 to 37 in favor of the Ducks. Taking a closer look at that number though, Oregon had 10 offensive rebounds that they turned into 14 second chance points. The Jacks, 6-0 boards that turned into just four points. So find a body, push back, secure the board. My third point, I'm just gonna call it personnel. There is a young lady by the name of Sabrina Unescu, and if you haven't heard of her, you most likely live under a rock, which means you probably don't have access to this either. So I will just assume all of you watching have heard of this triple-double machine. The 5'11 junior guard and two-time Pac-12 player of the year, in addition to about a million other honors, has notched 18 triple-doubles, yes, triple doubles in her career, which is the most in NCAA history for men's and women's hoops. Last time versus the Jacks, she didn't quite get there, but 26 points, eight rebounds and nine assists isn't a bad day by any means. Unez Q's latest triple-double was in the Ducks last game. 29 points, 10 rebounds and 12 assists in the win over Indiana. You can't stop her. You can only aim to contain her. SDSU needs to make her work for everything she gets and perhaps try to get UNESCO to pick up some early fouls. But that is easier said than done, which brings me to point number four. Oregon doesn't foul, yet their defense still holds teams to about 62 points per game. They're long, they're big, they're physical, but they play smart and only foul about 13 times each contest. At the same time, SDSU is a strong physical team and largely matched the physicality of the Ducks last time around. But it's going to take that extra effort, the extra focus, especially in the paint, to go up strong and finish the shot in tonight's game. You cannot expect to get that foul call. And finally, my last point I, I got here. Basketball is a game of runs. We all know this, but in the tournament, especially at this level, in the Sweet 16, if you give up a huge run, even if it's early on in the game, it is very hard to bounce back from that. In the last matchup, it was neck and neck. STS was actually up five at halftime, but Oregon went on a 25 to nine run to end the third quarter. And quite honestly, that sealed the game. For both teams in this one, you can never let it get too far away from you. These are two great teams who will take a lead, run with it, and will not give it up. So with that, thrive on the momentum. But if there are a few bad possessions in a row, nobody panic, just settle down and play your game. 
South Dakota State and Oregon tip off tonight at 10 p.m. Central Time from the Moda Center out in Portland. You can watch the game on ESPN2. Our very own Max Jensen is out in Portland covering the Sweet 16, so make sure to follow at MidcoSN on Twitter and Instagram for updates from out west. And good luck to the Jackrabbits.